Start it with her. I am going to send you. Um, I am going to send you notes, so you'll see notes coming in in your email. So you can just kind of relax and listen. And we're going to talk about start repair. Start repair is a very very important subject. It is one tested pretty thoroughly in CompTIA. So let's talk quickly about it, and then I want you to. I'm going to then I'm going to send you some notes. So, number one, if something goes wrong, Windows itself can actually determine there is a problem with Windows. And Windows itself will actually launch Startup Repair. So, Startup Repair is, a, is actually a WIM file. So, there is a WIM file. In fact, I looked today and every single operating system that I went into did not have the WIM file. So I just, I just did not, because we don't install classic installs. So here's important. The startup repair is called winre.wim. Wim is, a, uh, is like an ISO file. It's just like an ISO file. And the winre-wim is a file normally installed on every PC and when you have problems it's called Windows Repair WIM. It's a ISO, you can boot to it, you can build a CD from it, in fact we're going to see. Uh, normally, except every PC I was trying to look at uh, did not have that, this is what is booting your system. WIM a win, re dot win, okay? It's a ISO file, and it's going to boot your Windows machine, and it's going to give you utilities to help you solve the problems. So let's go take a look. Now, you can actually create a bootable CD from the win, re dash win file right here in control panel. You go to control panel, you go to, and this is a very helpful tool. This is not one grandma needs or auntie or uncle, but it is one that's very helpful to you. You can go to Backup and Restore, click on that, and you can create your own CD. What file creates that CD? WinRE.Wim. Okay? WindowsRepair.Wim. That's the ISO file that actually creates that CD right there. And so you can create your own CD. Windows actually puts that file on every installation of Windows except the ones I was looking for. So if Windows detects there's a problem, the Win, it will actually come up and say, do you want to boot off your startup repair? Now, you can also have the startup repair CD. So if like, for example, the ones that I looked at today, which did not have this, you would have had to boot up off the startup repair, uh, repair, startup repair CD. You can also hit F8 during the boot process, and you can actually launch the startup repair right from F8. So that's another way to get uh, the startup repair. Number one, create a CD. Number two, it's already on your hard drive, Windows it sees you have a problem. You click the start it repair. Number three, hit F8. Eight. Again, you've got a, another uh, start it repair option right here in your boot up process. So right there we see we've got, so we've got three different ways that we can launch start up repair, yes? Three different ways right away. So the operating system itself, you can hit F8, or you can have a startup repair CD that you've created. And all of them will get you here to the wonderful startup recovery. Okay? So what can you do? Very, very important. Very, very important. Startup repair actually gives you a couple things. One, you can launch what's called the automated. That's the first option. That's called an automated repair. What it does is does about different utilities to see if it can fix it. Listen carefully. After startup repair can reboot your computer up to three times. If it reboots it the second time, 
It's not good. Okay? In other words, startup repair will attempt to automatically, you don't have to do anything. You can sit back, go get donuts, get a cup of coffee. It will reboot your computer up to how many times? But I'm telling you something that you need to know. If it reboots the second time, not good. It's not going to repair it, okay? So if it reboots once, good. It probably needs to reboot once. If it reboots the second time, you're going to have to probably do something, okay? So start a repair. What's the other tool that we have here? System Restore. System Restore. We talked about that one yesterday. System Restore. So listen, this is wonderful because if my system will not boot, I can even boot to start at repair and do a system restore even if the system won't. Now, I will tell you, system restore, this is called offline. This is called offline. Everything we're doing is what we call technically offline. Why? Why do I call this offline? You are not starting window like normally like yeah that's correct i'm not using the operating system on the hard drive i'm using a a second method of booting the win of the machine so i'm i'm offline i'm not using the windows installation i'm using a second method of booting the pc i'm actually using that win re dot win file to boot system image recovery what's that these are all tools you got to know for CompTIA. System image recovery, what is this? It will take a clone from the C drive. It is when you do a what? A Windows 7 backup. So you do a, a system image, you back up the entire hard drive to an external, yes, an external hard drive, and it's saved as a VHD. Remember that? Years ago, you used to do that when you were about five years old. We did a lab like that. You back up your whole operating system to an external hard drive, and then, so look, look at me. If you haven't backed up, if you haven't done a Windows 7 backup of your hard drive, is this any help to you? No. <laughs> but I will tell you, this is a great way to recover a non-booting PC. If you have a backup, which you should, if you don't have a backup of your system, system recovery is worthless. Okay, Windows Memory Diagnostic. You could have bad DIMMs. You could have bad memory. So this is a great tool. In fact, it looks something like this. If you do a, uh, a Windows Memory Test, they're really helpful. And you can actually, I'm going to run right here real quick, sorry. It was all the way in. You can actually run a memory test on your machine. It's very helpful. It's a great way to test RAM. Let me show you another way to get a startup repair. There's another way. What's one more way to get startup recovery? Startup repair, I'm sorry. Startup repair. An installation. Repair your computer? The Windows 7 installation DVD or the Windows Vista DVD or the Windows 8 DVD because when you start installing, what do you have down here? What is that, what is that launch? Start at repair. So I've already showed you four, four ways to get up start at repair. What's one of them? Rebecca. Windows Vista 7A DVD. Okay, very good. That's one. She took the easy one. All right. Corey, what's the second way I told you how to get to startup repair? F8. Huh? F8. F8. You can go to the F8 uh, pre-boot menu and start the startup repair with F8. What's the other one? Sure. Yeah, so far. Um, Windows does it by itself if it detects there's a problem. That's right. Windows detects by itself and says, hey, you need to do startup repair. Very good. What's the, what's the other one, uh, Javier? The ISO file, the winre.wim. If you have created a startup repair disk, yes. If you've done this, yes. Thank you. If you created your, then you've got 
four ways of using startup repair. And then if you have that disk, you just start the computer from the disk? Yes. It, boot, it, yeah. the it boots right up, and, and when you use, you create this disk, it boots you into this, this environment. This is the startup repair environment. The people on video are getting sick right now. This environment right here, you can see it's got a little desktop background. That environment is called the WinRE.Wim environment, the Windows Repair uh, environment. It's just a small version of Windows that's enough to run these utilities. And then we have command prompt. This is very cool. Uh, so if you know command prompt utilities, you can, do, you can do dirt certain things at the command prompt. If you're a grandma, that's useless. But if you're a tech, you can actually go and use a lot of command, command line utilities if you think it's something simple. Okay?